Hello, I'm Yunin Sok from Line Plus. For this year's Line Dev Day, my session will be about Project Inception Workshop in the New Normal. And I will tell you how I got everyone involved in the project to make consensus in the new normal. As tech project manager, I get involved in various cross-functional projects at Line to help successfully carry out the projects. And I'm also a trainer for the global PJM training at Line. And I try to apply the practices to projects and try to have positive impact on Liners to enhance their capabilities when carrying out projects. Um, here's a brief introduction to the 10 questions at Inception um, Workshop. Inception is a well-known practice under the name of Agile Inception or Project Inception. And the dictionary meaning of inception is the beginning of something. So usually at big conference rooms or lecture rooms, before the project begins, people related to the project come in to have the workshop face to face. An inception workshop is also called as inception deck. To these 10 questions, participants share the, their thoughts, adjust and try to make a consensus. And the questions may want different answers to be more specific, but as a whole, these 10 questions are a big theme as to find the answer to the key question, which is why are we all here? Now, I'd like to walk you through the case study to show how this inception workshop was applied at Line. Um, to share the background first, uh, we were at phase two of a cross-functional project. Uh, but the members involved in the project acknowledged that there was a consensus issue. And at that time, I was the TPM for the project and it was this April. And I suggested having the inception workshop then. There were 15 members from three parts that participated in the workshop and we had to conduct it remotely due to COVID-19 issue. Uh, however, luckily, um, video conference meeting tool Zoom and online whiteboard Miro were available at Line. When I first suggested the inception workshop, the three goals that I wanted to achieve are these. First, making a consensus among the members and being aligned. Second, having a clear scope of the project. Third, clearly defining r, &R among members. r, &R stands for Role and Responsibility. To achieve these goals, the scenario for the Inception Workshop is the following. Making a consensus of the identity of the project using elevator pitch and using OKR to write down the goals and action items for the project to be aligned with the members. Elevator pitch is a practice included in the 10 questions in the inception deck, and OKR is a well-known practice taking reference from Google. These are useful when members need to set goals for the project on their own, and many Korean companies and organizations are already using OKR to set the goals and achieve them. Second is heaven and hell and problem solving. So at the beginning of the project, uh, we try to predict when the project will end and do a future retrospective and check risks in advance to respond to them. Third is user mapping. Through this practice, we find out about our key customers and what values they want from our service by having discussions. And we try to figure out what kind of efforts that we need to put to make that service. And this helps make the scope clear. And lastly, to help our time and resources to be well utilized for the project, we will use a practice called RACI to clearly identify r, &R to achieve three goals that we previously set. So if you look at the 10 questions from the inception deck, the results of each question are different, but they all are for creating a consensus for the project among the members. The questions and practices have been revised to fit to Line's situation better. Um, but overall, 
the goal we pursue is same as the one that the inception pursues. Now, since we have set the goal and scenario for inception workshop, let's get ready for the workshop. On the online whiteboard, um, put the practices like the image. Arrows show that the output of the previous practice will be used as input for the next practice. Usually, inception workshop should be one day or two day workshop. So when conducted offline, uh, you have to meet at conference rooms. But since we are doing it remotely this time, I designed the workshop to be two hours at top. If it goes over two hours, participants may feel tired and focus less. So I designed it to be two hour session for four days. After that, uh, share the online whiteboard link and the link for joining a work online conference. And you have to also um, schedule on the calendar and let the attendees know. And then prepare the ground rules the members must follow at the workshop and tell them in advance. Um, since it is a global workshop, um, we had to have an interpreter and Attendees could listen to the desired language using Zoom's interpretation feature. Attendees had to have their cameras on, microphone off. Uh, we leave the camera on because if you're offline, you see people face to face. So by looking at their facial expressions or body language, you can feel the ambience of the workshop and respond to situations. But since we were conducted it online, um, the minimum we could do was to have everyone see each other's faces. And the facilitator had to be in charge of whom to give the floor to for smoother operation. So that's why we leave the microphone off. Also, we recommend attendees to use a wired earphone with microphone. If people cannot hear clearly, the speaker may not convey their message well and interpreters may have a hard time interpreting. So for smoother operation of the workshop, uh, we recommend using that. Now, this is the setting you will see as a facilitator at the start. Look at number one and you will see all the videos are on and mics are off. You cannot see everyone's faces, but you will try to see a gallery view of the participants and have a list of people to make sure who's here or not. So while conducting a workshop um, to get some comments or for some other situation, leave the chat up just in case. Um, while conducting the workshop, um, oh wait, there's still is someone who didn't turn their video on. So let's tell them to turn their camera on. And look at number two, um, online whiteboard and other material are provided on web. So you have to prepare the web browser tabs in order in advance. Um, I noticed that there's a YouTube channel in the second section. So on YouTube, search Starbucks Cafe Music and adjust the volume. Look at number three. Here, you, the facilitator, share the online whiteboard to the attendees. Um, at this time, share Starbucks Cafe Music so that everyone can listen in. So please share the computer sound. Um, for the workshop, I recommend using more than two monitors to look at number one and number two separately on different screens at the same time. Um, this is the screen of the participant. The online conference meeting tool setting is almost the same as the facilitators. However, the whiteboard will be shared by the facilitator and here the participants will hear Starbucks cafe music as background. And the person who previously had their camera off turn their camera on. And to participate in the workshop, participants also need to open the link to online whiteboard that had been shared al already. And it's also recommended to use two different monitors for participants as well. The goal of day one session is to align and create a consensus. And by doing check-in, at number one, we do icebreaking. Uh, we loosen up and prepare to be actively participate in the workshop. Of course, you can try to um, do better icebreaking with music. And using the sticky note feature, write down how you feel right now and why, and share your stories. 
After the check-in, the inception workshop actually begins. Elevator pitch in number two is making two to three short sentences that explain about the project in 30 seconds. We use the sticky note again to write opinions, review, and categorize to make the elevator pitch for the project. Writing on the sticky note or selecting opinions should usually take three to five minutes each, and it helps when the facilitator turns on the music on to help members to focus on writing their opinions and feel more stable. So during the workshop, play and pause Starbucks Cafe music to help change the vibe of the project or the workshop. Um, to achieve the completed elevator pitch, detailed goals and action items should be decided at the end of day one, which is OKR number three. And through this, if the members are aligned of the goal of the project, we have achieved the intended goal. At the end of the session, there's a time for a quick wrap up and a review before you finish. Day two of inception workshop begins. Facilitator does a quick review of day one before actually jumping into the workshop and explain briefly what today's session will be about to help participants that it is a part of the workshop continued from yesterday. At the practice section at the top, write a guide about a practice. Of course, the facilitator will verbally explain what that is, but participants will be looking at the whiteboard when attending, so they will get to see what they're doing without asking additional questions to the facilitator. We do the heaven practice in number two to imagine the happiest moment of the project to motivate. Through hell practice in number three, we imagine the worst case scenario during the process and get a sense of crisis. For each of the practice, use different colored sticky notes. Positive comments in a color with a sensitive stability and negative opinions in a color with a high sense of crisis. This will help participants to concentrate more and help distinguish between practices. Opinions that people agree the most in hell should be moved to problem solving in number four to find out why these may happen and how the problems can be solved through discussions to prepare for the possible risks. At the end of the session, you do a wrap up again. Day three of inception workshop begins. Let's do user mapping to clear the scope of the project. Let's write down key customers on the left, like number one and write down the service we can provide to key customers in number three on, in on, on stage section. And let's write what values the key customers will get when using our services on key value in number three. Through this process, members will acknowledge the key customers and the value we can bring to them. This will help motivate them and cut unnecessary work that we had been carrying out and we can clear the scope based on the value. After that, we list out the efforts we need to put in to make the service written in on stage section in backstage in number four. Now, the last day of the session, we will be defining r, &R among project members. Uh, put the result of the user mapping, which is the list in backstage to job section in RACI table. In category, write down the service previously derived from on stage to help participants understand what the job is for. And then in the column, write down each roles involved in the project like number two. R is being responsible for the job and A is being accountable for the completion of the job. And C is giving consultation or advice during the job execution and I is informing about the result. So by defining the four main roles, we can visually see the roles for RACI, helping us to clear the role and responsibility in the project. So at this stage, just like number three, we try to sort out what we have to do commonly, such as doing a progress report, arranging meetings and setting roadmaps and etc. When all these are done, you're ready to do a checkout to conclude the inception workshop. 
check how the feelings at check-in have changed after the workshop, what factors changed, and exchange opinion to share thoughts on how each of the members thought this workshop as meaningful. So by doing this, um, we put an end to many sessions of remote workshop we conducted in the new normal. Afterwards, the result of the processes are left in the online whiteboard, so you can document the workshop if necessary. To check whether we've achieved the goal of the inception workshop we have previously set, I conducted an online survey. The questions were, do you agree with the result of the workshop? Do you have a clear understanding of the goal of the project? Is the scope and R&R clear for the project? And 75% of the members have given higher score than 4 out of 5. I can say that 70% of the goal is achieved through the inception workshop. It would have been better if it was 100%, but due to the fact that it was an online survey and taking some realistic part into consideration, I believe that it was more than enough. And after the workshop, maybe um, we can think of some ways to make a consensus with the remaining 25% of the members. I mentioned earlier that this workshop was held this April. So far, um, by looking at the project health check, we conduct to see if this inception workshop was effective. Uh, there were many improvements to this project after the workshop. We also conducted a maturity check, which is analyzing the project in deep dive. And the result also showed that there were improvements in many cases. For reference, this project conducts OKR project health check, project maturity check regularly to sync up with the members about the goal and check the current status of the project to keep making improvements. Lastly, the project manager of the project mentioned that the Inception Online Workshop was very effective for our project and it was an opportunity to set project goals and align all members. Action items to be done in the future in r and of the members have become clear and the speed of work is increasing. And this backs up that the Inception Workshop was very effective and still is. So I will wrap up now. When using video conferencing tool like Zoom, you have to help participants be aware of the workshop before they actually come in by giving the material in advance. Also by doing check-in and check-out, let people know that the beginning and the end of their workshop is there and helping them actively participate. Maximum for one session should be two hours and doing a quick review of the per previous session at the beginning and a review at the end helps. Facilitators should be the, in charge of giving the floor to participants and for a better workshop, attendees should have their video on, microphone off, and use wired earphones. Facilitators should utilize music well before and during the workshop. And the music I recommend is jazz or bossa nova or something quiet and relaxing without any lyrics. And Starbucks cafe music is a good choice. Also, when there's a background music, when the one is speaking, it gives the participants a sense of being together for the workshop. When using online whiteboard, you will be using shapes to design practices. Um, for this, you, you should place the frame first and then lay the shapes later to group and then place a lock. This helps prevent participants misplacing the pre-arranged shapes due to mistakes. At the top of the practice board, write instruction guide or an intro to practice to help participants understand and focus better without unnecessary communication. Also, using appropriately colored sticky notes for the practice helps. When facil facilitator is doing a review to help visually guide the participants, using a shape like a star to move around the sticky notes helps participants to focus in the workshop. In the new normal, projects must continue on Issues will come up and sometimes you will have to make a consensus and do a retrospective to keep making improvements. And I hope today's session can be a help to making improvements in the new normal. I'm done. Thank you.